star drive and gravity part 2. Since we now know how objects become aware of each other's presence, we have to picture a mechanism that grabs the incoming gravitons, moves them to the other side, and then propels them in the opposite direction. Action is minus reaction, hence moving the free floating masses towards each other, towards the origin of the stream of gravitons. This should be a hell of a mechanism, not doing these three things all together. Well, no, there's a catch. This mechanism cannot be complicated, chance itself must be able to create it. And now comes the most genius part of star drive, the cradle of Newton. You might recognize it as a silly office toy, but it helps explaining what goes on. We have to see creation and destruction of matter as an ongoing process. So let's put this theory to the test. Suppose every object acts like Newton cradle. Gravitons strike it, changing places numerous times and then spout out the other side. But there's a problem with this concept. Two actually, as we shall see. First I'll demonstrate what I mean. This is an object and in this fashion it moves towards the incoming gravitons. 